<laughs> I'm on my dying breath. It's you. You've returned. But why? I've already taught you everything I know. All the scrolls you've read. You must fulfill the prophecy. I can no longer help. I'm no longer the baby-faced TikTok ad agency assassin you once knew. I'm all shriveled up in bones. You need my help. Making TikTok creatives that will go viral. Well, for you, my friend, I can do this last favor, but that's all you'll get from me. Yes, guys, today we're gonna break down how to make winning TikTok ad creatives for your e-commerce brand, the do's and don'ts. So let's get into it right now. If you wanna create a winning TikTok ad creative for your e-commerce brand, by far the easiest way of doing that is creating native UGC content to the platform. So if you're already an established brand that has customers using your product and you have clips you can use, I would say the smartest way of using that content is stitching together different customers that are raving about your product into one easy, fast paced ad. Now, typically the ads that convert the best are all under 30 seconds. Now, if you're selling clothing or jewelry, it's even faster. It's under 15 seconds of three customers typically raving about your product. So you wanna disguise your ad as a TikTok by having these random faces, by having these people that clearly aren't affiliated with your brand talking about how great your product is. That always converts the best or just following trends by saying, hey, three ways you can style your outfits using this shirt or having an information style TikTok about how great your problem solving product is. I've even seen ads do really well that are just one clip that's about seven, eight seconds long that showcases the product doing an amazing thing or just looking really cool. It's that simple with TikTok, but you just don't wanna make it look like some Harmon Brothers level of professional ad. Now, the next key to creating a winning TikTok ad creative for your e-commerce brand is using familiar music to the TikTok ad platform. Now, when you're editing your ads right here, as we can see in the TikTok ad manager, you can open the TikTok video editor to see popular music and sounds that you can use and the background music for your ads, which is absolutely amazing. They have different categories. So you really need to figure out which song has the right pacing and the right emotion for your product. Cause obviously if you're selling a baby product, it doesn't make sense to have some hard rock and roll, super fast paced, energy inducing music. It would make sense to have something that's a little slower pace. So as you can see right here in the ad editor, we have most used tracks, genres with highest spend, etc. Now, Lazy Sunday, this is a very common music that I know you've seen in a few of these ads. So I'll just play it real quick. And let's see here, Lazy Sunday. So obviously much slower paced. So you need to figure out how does it actually work with my ad? Is my ad a little slower paced? Then it would make sense to use. So I'd recommend going through these to figure out what works the best for you. And if you want to have options for more music that's really going viral on TikTok, then what I would do is download your ad, put it on your phone, go into the TikTok video editor for normal TikToks and see what music is going trending and download that ad, send it back to your computer and upload that as your ad. A little bit of deja vu, you can see me there, you can see me here, you can see me there, you can see me here, you can see me there. You see me there. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but let's edit our ad in TikTok so you can see all the amazing customizations you can use to make a winning ad. So right now I'm just uploading my ad and the main things that you really wanna do when you have your ad in TikTok is look through all the amazing music options that you have so that you can disguise your ad as a TikTok. So if I go to sounds, obviously you can save different sounds, but we can go through here and see what's really trending. So we got this, super fast pace. Lazy Sunday, again, is a great piece of content. I love Feel the Groove. I think that's a great music sound for a lot of your ads. I think that just fits really well. So let's say for instance that we use Feel the Groove for our ad right here. I honestly think that works, uh, That's which is great. So when I'm adding music in the TikTok app, I like to do it as around 10 to 15% as the added sound. So once we do that, the next thing that we can do is add the narrator voice. That's another key way to really split test your different ads to see, hey, if I have my narrator doing the intro for my hook, let's see how that converts compared to no narrator at all. And I've really seen a lot of winning ads use the narrator to amazing effect, which is either reading all of the benefits of the ad or at least reading that intro.
And obviously, if you have customers that are raving about your product, use those clips in your ad because they'll do super well. Now, what I would do in this instance right here is let me go next and go back. So keep your favorite drinks fresh for days. That's my main benefit. So let's do this. Let's go text, keep your favorite drinks. So now that we have that written out, you can click this little narrator option right here, this little face. Keep and your favorite drinks fresh for days. Awesome. Now, obviously we have this text here on screen and it doesn't look great. So what I would do is minimize it and let's just slide that out. And then it still will read it as you can see right here. So let's go next, let's go back. Keep your favorite drinks fresh for days. Boom. We got the music, we got the narrator. Now obviously what we can do is split test the narrator reading each benefit and we can, could do that by customizing the duration in which that narrator's voice appears. So let's do that right now for one of these benefits. So we go back. Keep your favorite drink yeah, yeah. fresh for days. Okay, cool, yeah, we know, we know, we know. Perfect for parties, tailgates, and kickbacks. So let's do that, perfect for parties, tailgates, and kickbacks. So once we do that, Narrator voice. Keep your favorite drinks for days. Okay, so that was a mess. And what we want to do is select duration, and we want this to appear right around here. And we want this to last by the end of the clip. So let's drag that out. Let's see. And let's see what happens. So we're gonna go next, go back. Keep your favorite drinks fresh for days. Awesome. Perfect for parties, tailgates, and kickbacks. That's awesome. So that's one way you can customize your ad inside of TikTok. So all you would have to do after this is click post, copy the link, download it, and then upload it in the TikTok ad manager, and you're ready to go. Now, if you're trying to create a winning TikTok ad creator for your e-commerce brand, one of the major pitfalls in doing that is making an ad for the wrong platform. A lot of people tend to make a Facebook ad and they'll repurpose it, upload it onto TikTok, and they're just hoping, all right, it did well on Facebook, it's gonna do amazing on TikTok. But they're surprised when that really isn't the case because the thing is, when you try to stick a round peg into a square hole, it rarely works. So you wanna avoid making these professional styled, high production video ads like the Harmon Brothers with big explosions and actors and it looks super amazing and it makes a great Facebook ad, but on TikTok, it looks out of place because when they see high production videos, your target audience knows instinctively that it's an ad and guess what they're gonna do? Simple as that. So you wanna disguise your ad as a TikTok. You wanna Trojan horse it in and make people think, oh, what I'm watching, isn't an ad, it's a TikTok. So you can do that by following trends. You can say, hey, three ways to style this shirt. You can do a series. You can just do something that doesn't look like your typical ad. Now, the next way to make a losing ad creative on TikTok is having no text or benefits on screen for your ad. Now, in some cases that can work. If you're selling clothing, jewelry, you don't really need to have any of that. You just wanna showcase your product in the best light. So you might just have some attractive people wearing it. So that's simple, but if you have a problem solving product, which a lot of people do, you do wanna highlight the benefits on screen through text, through a narrator reading it, through a customer reading it. It just doesn't make sense to have all these clips of someone using your massage gun, but there's no benefits on screen for people to read. Now, another way that your TikTok ad will fail is you're not optimizing to the platform. It's a phone app, so it's gotta be nine by 16 in order for it to work. So if you're trying to create a square ad and you got all this empty real estate, it just looks off and people naturally scroll by. Now, by far the biggest way to have a TikTok ad that flops for your e-commerce brand is having a boring hook. With TikTok, those first three seconds, that opening clip is all you have to determine if that target consumer will watch the rest of your ad. Because if it's boring, they're just gonna scroll on by and watch amazing cat videos or comedy videos that make absolutely no sense at all. So what you really wanna do to get someone's attention is highlight the major benefit or the major problem that your product solves in that first clip. So you can say, hey, are you struggling with losing weight? Now, personally, I wouldn't advertise a health product, but that will get someone's attention, especially if they have that problem. So you're either gonna do a problem format or you'll have a hook, which is, hey, lose two to four sizes off your waist instantly with this product, et cetera. So whatever you feel like is gonna be something that grabs people's attention, basically sort of like a click baiting opening line is what's gonna convert the best. 
Now my framework for creating winning TikTok ads has remained the same and it's always gonna be a hook, demonstration of my product, social proof, and a call to action. Now, we've already discussed what the hook is. It's basically the problem, the opportunity, or the biggest benefit that your product can solve. Now the demonstration is really the key part. This is usually gonna be about three to four clips of either people wearing your product, of people using your product, and then you have benefits on screen that illustrate all the main highlights. So for instance, if I'm selling this massage gun, I'm gonna have around three to four clips of different athletes, different people using the product in different scenarios. And then on screen, I'll have some text saying how, hey, with this massage gun, you can instantly recover in two to three days from a heavy workout or whatever the major benefit that my target consumer cares about. You don't wanna just be making up benefits willy nilly, actually do the research, read reviews of similar products and see what people are saying and then use that in your ads as the text benefits. Now, social proof is by far one of the most important elements of a winning TikTok ad creative, and you can demonstrate this through a wide variety of different options. Now, for me, I typically like to have the Trustpilot logo in this clip of my ad just to add a little bit of trust. And really, with social proof, no one wants to be the first user of a product. No one wants to be that guinea pig. They wanna buy something and use something that other people are using. It's just basic psychology. We like to follow the herd. We like to follow what's trending. And when we see other people using a product and raving about it, whether it's a massage gun and they're saying, oh my God, I can now work out more than ever before. I feel great. All my muscles are working. I was in a goddamn wheelchair and now I can walk again thanks to this thing it's gonna make people excited. So again, social proof is typically people raving about the product, whether it's an influencer or a real customer that you've given a script to. Now, I believe one of the most underrated elements that will help you create a winning TikTok ad creative for your e-commerce brand is having a call to action at the end of your ad. Now, it sounds really self-explanatory, but if you do analyze winning ads, a lot of them do not have this. It's really mind boggling to me because I've noticed personally from advertising the last couple of years, you need to tell people where to go next and you need to give them a reason to click the shop now button. So for me, at the end of all of my ads, I will always have some sort of sale where I say, hey, 60% off sale and soon, click shop now or shop now with the URL of my brand under that so that people know exactly what the next step is to get my products because really, People are dumb and I know it seems like, duh, they can just click the shop now button, but I've noticed you will dramatically get more clicks if you tell them exactly what to do. Now, there are two great ways to get inspiration and ideas to create winning TikTok ads for any e-commerce product that you wanna sell. And the first option is the TikTok Creative Library. So when you go to the TikTok Creative Center, all you have to do is go to top ads just like this, and you can search in your region all of the best e-commerce ads just by putting in these filters right here. United States, we scroll on down, you can see the different niches. So if you wanna see baby ads, you can do that. But let's go to e-commerce non-app. Let's do conversions, because these are really the killer ads from amazing big brands. So if you wanna get inspiration, definitely take a look at the big boys. There are a lot of great ads. And then when you notice the trends, like first off, as we can see in this row of ads, a lot of them are using text that's exclusive to TikTok. As you can see, they have the white text with a black outline. It doesn't look super professional or you need to pay a $500 video ad editor. It's just really simple. This one right here in the middle has a purple outline. It's really, really childish. It doesn't look like a professional ad, which is what works the best. So you can get a lot of great inspiration by looking at these ads right here. You can, again, sort by your niche, or if you wanna search for a specific term in the ads, I highly recommend doing that as well. So you can do Black Friday if you wanted to get inspiration for your Black Friday offer. So many amazing ads will appear just like that. I mean, look at all these. We got Black Friday sale for these hats right here. I mean, geez Louise, you have so many amazing tools at your disposal nowadays. So the other great way to get some inspiration is actually going onto the TikTok app. So the next best way of finding winning e-commerce products and also great ideas for your next ads is optimizing your TikTok feed. So personally for me, I've done this for a couple months now where every time I get an e-commerce ad thrown my way, I'm liking it, I'm clicking the link, I'm clicking add to cart so that TikTok shows me more amazing ads. So if I scroll down right here, boom. Soul Set, an amazing brand. This was a dropshipping product that they fully branded, they made an app. This is a million dollar business. So when I see ads like this, Obviously, I'll put it in my favorites, get some inspiration, like it up. But what we really wanna do, so I found this sunset lamp for boom, click shop now, 
so that you get more amazing ads like this shown to you. You want TikTok to say, hey, this person loves these e-commerce ads and boy, do we do. So we click on buy now and just like that, you don't need to put your information or anything, but that's how you can optimize your feed to get more amazing ads shown to you. All right, everyone, let's talk about copywriting. Now, this is a skill that does take time to develop and the more you practice, the better you will be. But with these tips, you'll definitely be on the right track. So first off, I know a lot of people say when you get into e-commerce, you should only sell what you know, you should only sell what you love because the selling process becomes seamless. It's really easy because you already know why people would buy since you are already buying that product. But for me, I like to sell products that are niches I know absolutely nothing about but I know there's a hungry market of buyers because nowadays with the internet, it's so easy to understand why people are buying products just by following very simple strategies. So first off, I know absolutely nothing about lip plumpers. I haven't bought those. I'm white, I should. Honestly, I know us white people suffer from small lip syndrome. Yeah, I don't think I'm bad, I, a little chap though. So when I'm doing research for a product like this, I always will open a new Google Doc and I will go to my competitors. I will go onto tools like AdSpy. I will look up winning ads and I'll try to get some inspiration here. So as we can see, the closest thing to lip filler without the pricey injections. I mean, that is a great line for a headline on a product description or on an ad. So I'll copy all these amazing lines that I find from my competitors' ads, from their product descriptions, et cetera, and paste this into a document where I can take all these amazing ideas and formulate my amazing product description and ad scripts. So in order to find your competitors, obviously you can go into tools like AdSpy, you can go open a new tab, look up the generic version of your product, just like this, and then go to the shopping section where you can see a variety of ads of brands that are selling very similar products. They all will have the same ideas, so you can go to the descriptions real quick. So let's see right here. I mean, this isn't even like a serum or anything, but it's a device that gets you the same result. So we scroll on down, the most effective lip plumper device on the market, compact, easy to use. So there's definitely some lines we can take here. We can look at the reviews as well to get the bulk of our inspiration. So by far the best way of coming up with amazing benefits for your ads and product descriptions is reading the reviews of similar products. So for the Limp Plumper that I'm selling right here, I always will hop into Amazon and look at brand reviews. So I have a bunch of different tabs open here of similar products where I'll scroll on down, go to the reviews and copy over the key phrases and benefits that people are mentioning over and over again. Now, before I even get into the reviews, I'm looking at the keywords here. So we have see a difference, tingling sensation, plumping effect. These are all keywords that I should have in my product description since they're very common. This is what people are talking about. So I'm noticing, hey, five minutes after I put this on, my lips were plump. So that's something I want to address, that you will get instantly faster lip plumping results with this. Literally, in just a few minutes, you can get some amazing results. So you're gonna scroll on down, you're gonna copy the best lines, paste it into a document so that you have all this together and you have infinite inspiration for creating your ads. As you can see right here, I have so many great lines and this is how I'm able to come up with a description like this that speaks directly to my audience because I read and I listened to what they said. That's how I'm able to make amazing product descriptions that convert like crazy because I'm not coming up with anything. Just reading some more reviews on other lip plumpers, we can see right here, hey, it burns a little bit, but it's not too bad. So that's something, again, I should mention in my description, that there will be that tingling, burning sensation initially, but it will go away and then you'll get the amazing results. So again, we're just gonna scroll on down here. Anything else, hey, my, li uh, my lips were tingling and it just was like that for like 15 minutes and then after that, boom, my lips looked great and then, hey, the day and night application works amazing. So there you go. Read the reviews, copy them on over to a document so that you can write some amazing descriptions and add scripts. Now, obviously that method will help you come up with the main customer objections, the main benefits they care about and the main problems as well. However, if you really want to sharpen that copywriting prowess, you want to become a millionaire, you got to read what the best marketers are putting out. So for me, I love Dan Kennedy. I think he has some amazing books. I have read basically everything that he's ever put out. So if I were you, Magnetic Marketing, amazing book. Highly recommend it if you're in e-commerce and you wanna really sharpen your copywriting skills because this guy breaks down winning ads that he's worked on. Dan Kennedy is basically the father of direct response copywriting. He knows how to get people to take action and buy whatever it is that he's selling in a wide variety of niches. So if you wanna learn from the best, you gotta read some great books. And these are the ones that I personally would recommend.
Now, if you want to write winning product descriptions and ads that convert like crazy, you need to be thinking about WIFM. But what does that actually mean? WIFM stands for what's in it for me. And this is something that will subconsciously be going through your brain when you're reading any type of ad or you're reading any description for a product that you're interested in. So if I am a female and I'm interested in getting bigger lips, every single line here I'm critiquing in my mind. I'm thinking to myself, why does that matter? How does that benefit me? So my first line, you deserve beautiful lips without pricey injections. What's in it for me there? Well, I can get amazing results. I can get this amazing benefit for a fraction of the costs and without having all these painful procedures done, without these harmful alternatives that are just a mess. So that's what's in it for me. And basically when I'm critiquing every single line in my description for this product or any product I wanna sell, I'm asking myself, how is that a benefit? I don't care about the features, so let's go right here. Apply our day and night serum as well to what? Why does it matter to apply this? Well, it naturally and dramatically hydrates and nourishes and increases your lip volume. That is the benefit. That is what's in it for you if you apply our day and night serum. So I highly recommend taking a look at your ads, taking a look at your descriptions and saying to yourself, does this line of copy actually serve a benefit? Does it actually matter to my customer? If I'm selling something as simple as a flash drive, this 256 gigabyte flash drive. Why does it matter that it has this much storage? Well, it has this much storage. It has all these gigabytes so that you can create endless memories with your family and access them easily on your computer whenever you want. Now, if you really wanna take your e-commerce copywriting to the next level, there are three amazing tools that all expert copywriters are using. Now, first off, I'm gonna copy some lines from my Lip Plumper product description and put them into Grammarly. This just makes sure that your grammar is appropriate, everything is good, and it will help you come up with better phrases and ways to word your descriptions. Now, I put every single description I have ever put into this first before hitting publish. As you can see right here, my overall score is a 99. There's really one error, which is word choice, which really isn't a big deal. I mean, you can upgrade if you want. I have, it's not that helpful, but this is just a really great tool to make sure your grammar is popping and there's gonna be absolutely no confusion as to what you're trying to convey to your target customers. Now with Hemingway Editor, this is another great tool to make sure all of your sentences are concise and to the point. Now with Hemingway, you typically wanna have your readability at the lowest grade, like a grade four, so that you know that you're appealing to as many people as possible. The higher the grade, usually the more sophisticated and you're gonna get less customers. Now for me, as you can see right here, we got two sentences that seem to be a little bit hard to read, which is why they're in red. So maybe I wanna consider shortening them down a little bit. So Glam Lips utilizes a breakthrough formula. So let's just try uses. We'll just dumb it down a little. A breakthrough formula that delivers both immediate and long-term plumping by boosting blood flow into your lips. Into your lips, giving you juicy and softer lips. I mean, that is a little bit weird. So what we could do, let's see, uses a breakthrough formula that delivers, that boosts, so we could just do this. That boosts blood flow into your lips and gives you, and gives you juicy, plump lips. Just like that. And there we go. That's much more concise. It's much more to the point in seconds. So we really wanna aim for all of these to be yellow or white so that's concise enough for our readers to understand. Now, the final thing you can do to spice up your product descriptions is having interesting adjectives because so many of you are cool with using an adjective like cool or best or hot. It's just so basic and you really wanna add some bone chilling, mind numbing adjectives. So if I'm looking at my descriptions, I basically always use thesaurus.com to come up with better adjectives. So that's just a great way of doing it instantly. So. Let's say for instance, I didn't say breakthrough formula. I mean, that's definitely a thesaurus adjective I did. So I just said Glam Lips utilizes a, the best formula that delivers blah, 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 blah results. So I can easily just go open a new tab, best synonyms like this. We can go into thesaurus so we can see foremost, leading, premier, I mean, these are all much better words than using best or hot. I mean, just so many people are stuck using these boring adjectives that don't look that professional.
Now, the next part to creating a winning TikTok ad is gathering all of your clips for your e-commerce product. So first off, if I'm selling these sofa covers right here, I can go onto Alibaba, easily type this in the search, and I'll find multiple suppliers with unique videos for this product. So that's the first great platform. The next one is obviously AliExpress too. As you can see, this supplier got some great clips right here. Oof, installing it very simply. It takes a few seconds. Just tilt the couch over, tie it all in and bada bing, bada boom, that's how we install this product. So again, this is a great place to find some good clips. You can also go into tools like AdSpy. You can find your competitors who are selling similar products like, oh, look at that. This person's stretching it out very fast to the point. That looks really, really good. Oof, high quality too. So we can definitely take some clips there, especially when we're initially testing. And then I also recommend, hey, TikTok. TikTok's got some good clips too. Let's uh, take a look, a ah, little loud. Uh, we got this person installing it. It's just some more clips. There's just so many clips all over the internet that we can use to make an effective 20 to 30 second ad. And then finally, we can also use YouTube as we can see right here. Got some good clips, different sofa covers, different styles, different shots. I mean, there's just no reason why if you're selling a dropshipping product, you cannot find and gather some good clips. Now, when you're scaling your e-commerce brand, one of the smartest things you can do is obviously gather as much custom content as possible. And I highly recommend doing this when you're scaling by leveraging influencers and sending them your product with a script for them to make that video ad. So personally, here's a quick example of an email that I always send out for a waist training brand that I'm currently running. So as you can see, this is the email. Choose two main points from the options below to highlight in your video content. So I'll send the product to the influencer. I'll say, hey, here are the main talking points. This is what we expect from you. A 20 to 30 second long video. We expect some good photos of you rocking your waistband, et cetera, et cetera. So whenever you're trying to get custom content, make sure you are laying out these specific talking points so that you get some good clips that you can stitch together and put in like a little bit of a collage to make a very highly converting and highly engaging ad. Then I send them a Google Drive link so that we have all these photos, all these creative assets in one place. It's super easy to access for my editor and boom, the more organized you are, the faster you can scale. Now wait a damn minute. Did I just put out all this information for free onto YouTube for you to access and I still haven't gotten my like? Or a comment like TikTok ads rule so this boosts in the YouTube algorithm? I mean, guys, I gotta pay an editor. I gotta script this video. I mean, there's hours and hours and hours of doing all of this. And you can change that like button to a blue or a red just by clicking it. Costs nothing at all. So don't worry, I'll wait. All right, let's get into editing. So when editing your ad, we already talked about using familiar music on TikTok, using the narrator, but when you're creating these fast 15 to 30 second ads, I typically recommend having around five to six clips that are very fast paced and that you also script the ad beforehand so that you know what clips you should be using. So for the cozy covers, the sofa covers ad, this is the script I sent to my editor. Now for the hook, I felt like the main benefit of this was make your old couch feel new again. It could have been make your old couch feel new again in minutes, but I felt like that was the short, concise way of doing it. Then we have our demonstration. So I usually will have about three or five of these that I will actually use. So I might just do, luxurious covers that transform your furniture in minutes. I might use all of these down here. It really depends, but once I figure out which demonstration, which benefits I wanna use, then obviously we need to figure out what clips align with that. And then finally, we got our social proof, loved by thousands of happy homeowners so that we tell people that, hey, other people are using this and they're loving this product. Finally, our call to action, so we got our urgency. There's a 40% off sale that's ending soon and then our URL so people know the next step. So this is what my team was able to create. Now, I'm a little bit afraid to play this because I know the music could be copyrighted. So I might just do like the first three seconds or my editor could just mute the ad real quick, which we might have to do and I just talk over it, which sucks. But uh, you can see all the cool clips we use for this. Get the gist uh we made a really amazing it's super engaging ad it doesn't look too 
ad like really because the clips are not super professional which is great so now let's review ads from a bunch of big brands to see what they got right and what they did wrong now fabletics I've already seen this ad and I absolutely love it, but let's take a look and just see what they did right and what they did wrong. So. Um, am I dreaming 80% off all items? What? I know you've seen these before and you probably have some on right now, but this deal is about to step up your wedding skin. Okay, so already off the bat, the thing I like is that they have a customer doing all the narrating. I mean, it looks like someone that's not really affiliated with the brand, but they're super passionate about it. That always converts really well, either using the narrator or having a customer leading the ad. So let's get into the rest of it. I got these Fabletics leggings and I literally forgot that I had any others. Not only do they so come benefit. in so many colors, but they are so stretchy and the quality is okay. So she's just hammering benefit after benefit. Hey, the quality is amazing. There's so many different styles. Ditch these other leggings. I mean, geez Louise, she covered a lot of benefits there. I know how you get really excited when a dress has pockets. These have pockets. I love putting my- Another benefit, having pockets. Phone in here when I'm at the gym. That way I never drop or lose it. I mean, seriously, look how deep these go. My phone fits perfectly in here, so these look perfect. These colors are selling out so fast at 80% off. Then we got our offer. That's our call to action. Hey, it's 80% off. They're selling fast. That gives us some urgency. That gives us an incentive to click on this ad and get some amazing leggings. Try to get a pair if you can. I mean, that's just some amazing urgency. Try to get a pair if you can. I don't know what else you can say to get people to click a link faster than that. That is a great ad. The only thing I would say is maybe it's a little too long. I would have cut down on maybe having less benefits because 46 seconds is quite long for a TikTok ad, um, but the call to action was there. I think maybe it could have added a little bit of music, but overall, I think they really nailed it. All right, getting to our next ad from Adore Me. Okay, yep. Alrighty, yeah, I'm sorry, we can't watch the rest of that. I'm not getting copyrighted, but you know what? I might save that ad for later. Please don't, don't tell my girlfriend. All right, so let's get into the next ad that won't get me flagged for nudity. So this one right here, I think you can already tell where the problem areas lie. Um, this is not properly optimized whatsoever. A lot of real estate here that's not being used. Obviously though, they're using, hey, here's our offer which is cool. I'm glad that they have an offer, but oh man. All right, let's get into it though. This is my skin on Naturopathica. I am just glowing. I do like that. Opening with an influencer, opening with a customer raving about your product. That's a great hook saying, hey, I'm glowing. And they also mentioned the name of the product. So again, some good pluses there. The best skincare out there. It's a brand that takes a holistic approach to skincare and beauty. They're products that are gentle, but that's really good i love that i think these are really good clips of influencers raving my only thing is like why don't you just zoom in a little more so you don't have all this black space I think that's the only real problem I had. The music is good, everything else is good. I mean, is there a call to action? Yeah, call to action. Go to the website. I think they could have maybe formatted it a little better, but man, they have the clips right there. They can use, just optimize it a little better to make it vertical. I mean, they had a lot of great benefits. The demonstration was great. The hook was great. That's my only real beef though. I think I had to play the rest of these ads without the music uh, just because of copyright and stuff like that, but let's just look at this ad and see what they did here. So we got this girl wearing some stuff, looking cute. My only problem here is I don't know what the hell is being sold. And then this text is sort of hard to read too because it's, it's black on black. Like this ad I think absolutely sucks for every single reason. I don't think this is a good hook. Just a girl smiling, like what the hell is this? Like, I don't know what's being sold. It just looks like a tease. I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to buy here. So if I was to fix this ad, I mean, maybe have the hook, having this person talk in the background. I've already played this, there's no one talking. Someone narrating, talking about this fit. It's too professional too. This is, this is like a Facebook ad, basically. It's just way too professional. Now I'm gonna play the first five seconds of this with audio because I think they did a great job. Uh, which is using the narrator. So let's just play. 
Again, the song is copyrighted, but you get the idea. They were using the narrator voice, which is great. I absolutely love it. It's super fast paced, 13 seconds long. Customer right here, not a professional video, but hey, she's loving it. She's vibing. She's doing a trend where she's dancing to the music with this amazing blankie. So I think this is a great ad. Is there a call to action at the end? Yep. 60% off today only. I would have just added the URL. But other than that, I think it's a really good ad. Oh, pretty little thing. So many good clips here, but there's a reason why the likes and shares are absolutely nothing. Clips way too high quality. And now I get it. When you're selling clothing, all you really want to do is showcase beautiful people wearing it and just different clips of it. But it's just too professional. It's a Facebook ad. It just isn't great. There's no, is there a call to action at the end? No call to action. Okay, there's a reason why this ad failed. This is a huge, huge million dollar brand, but it's too professional. There's no call to action. There's no benefits on screen. There's a lot wrong. And this next ad also has that same problem. True religion, again, it's too professional. It's way too professional. Hello fall, like I don't, oh man. This is a Facebook ad. I don't know what I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, they have a call to action at the end, which is good. Demonstration, yeah, they have a model using it. I would have multiple clips of models using it. They clearly have clips of that. But yeah, it's just not a great ad. That's why the shares are so low. Nine shares, oof, that's brutal. Now, if you compare it to this one right here, the narrator is speaking the whole time. Again, let me see if the music is copyrighted. I don't know. Okay, but me and holiday collection makes the most festive and comfortable gifts for every beauty. Not to mention their cute prints made from sustainable fabric and their size inclusive range from XS to 4XL. I love you, me, Eddie. I think that's a perfect ad. I love that ad. It's got the narrator. It's super quick. It's not too professional. It's just a person on their phone filming. Looks really good. It's just random influencer. Just loving it. Super quick clips. This is what you want your ad to look like. It's got all the benefits. It's got the call to action, got great music. It's perfect. And that's how we typically like to create our ads. They're super fast paced. They have great music and the high quality clips as well. So if you're interested in having us run your TikTok ads, I do have a link down below for Blue Ocean Digital Miami, where you can book a call, get a free TikTok marketing plan, and we can see if you're a good fit for our service, where we guarantee results or you will get your money back. So. If you're interested in launching TikTok ads for your dropshipping stores, your e-commerce stores, whatever it is that you're selling, book that call and we'll see if it's a good fit. And obviously we'll help you scale your brand to 30 grand a month with TikTok ads or your money back.